let you in on a little secret about potting soil. You see, what we call potting soil or potting mix isn't actually soil at all. But what is it? So what we grow our plants in and what you buy in these bags is called a soilless media. So they don't just go dig this out from the ground somewhere and put it in a bag. That would be something like topsoil. Instead, soilless media is an engineered product that is going to give the best results for growing plants in containers. And there are lots of different mixes available, but generally the ingredients are going to be things like peat moss, coconut coir, vermiculite, perlite, compost, and things of the like. Whereas soil, you know, the soil that you would find in your yard is going to be comprised of things like silt or sand or clay and minerals usually a combination of all of those different things. So why do greenhouse growers and potting soil manufacturers use a soilless media? The biggest reason why is because by preparing the mixture of the soilless media, they're actually able to manipulate how much moisture it will hold while also giving good aeration to the roots of the plants. That way you avoid things like root rot and poor drainage. Soilless media is also sterile, so it's not going to have diseases, pathogens, and insects in it when it is properly prepared. It also has a high cation exchange, which means that it can hold on to nutrients and then distribute them back into the plant roots and this is really important when you are fertilizing the plants to make sure that they are able to absorb all of that fertilizer that you put into the mix or into the water that you're watering with that's why if you were just to go dig out soil from the ground and put it in a pot versus planting your plant into a soilless media such as a high quality potting soil you're going to see that the ones in the soilless media are going to perform much better in containers the only downside to using a potting soil that is soilless is that it doesn't have a lot of nutritional value in these ingredients. That's why it is so important that whenever you are growing potted plants in potting soil, you're going to have to fertilize those plants at least once a month to keep them vigorous and growing healthily. And lastly, the question I get a lot is what's the difference between potting soil and potting mix? Really, it just depends on what that company names their soilless media because both of them are going to actually be soilless and there's really not a difference other than the name. 